Go ahead. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the greatest Sonic game of all time. In 1996, this game graced our screens, and you are going to see the ultimate race here. In the blue corner, we have the one, the only, S2 as Sonic T Hedgehog. And in the right corner, the competitor from the ages, it is Hypnotics as the Red Knuckle Chuckle himself. It is UK versus the US. Who will win in this majestic race? We're about to find out. Are you both ready? Yep. We're as ready as, as one can be. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready, Argic? Are you ready for everybody to, to see just how, you know, incredible Sonic Blast is? I am absolutely right. This is going to be a majestic run. It's going to be short. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be to the point. We're going to take you through this. One thing we want to ask you all as well, there's going to be a lovely word here that you're going to see throughout the run. If you could donate, get a $5 donation train with that word and an exclamation mark at the end of it. And uh, we'll just have Bobby, Black Wolf and Nicole here uh, just be inundated with Luke exclamation mark. That would be grand. They will love us for it. They really will. Um, but <laughs> I suppose now is better time than any. Oh, Geek, do you want to count us in? All right, here we go. It is time for the countdown. Are we ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Look. 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 Luke, every time, get your exclamation mark, well, get your Luke exclamation mark donations in $5 donation train as we run through the first level here. It is, of course, Green Hill, completely unique to this state, this game, this stage. You've never seen a Green Hill like this before. There are differences between our characters here, of course. Sonic has the ability to double jump. Knuckles has a glide, and we've got this signpost. Aren't you? Oh, equal RNG. Ooh, so what spicy. we're going to want to see at the end of these levels here is there's a little end of level jingles that you get based on what your signpost is. Signpost RNG is really, really strong in this run, but Knuckles has a slight advantage in the boss fight. So we're going to have to see how this goes. The main thing you don't want to see on these characters is Sonic does not want to see Chaos Emeralds, Super Sonic, or himself. Knuckles does not want to see Chaos Emeralds, Super Sonic, or himself. Any other ones will be good. If we see the Eggman, that's what we want. We're coming down now, we're going through the tubes. That's how you know this is an A-bit game. This is an A-bit game, right? It's an honorary yeah, A-bit game. Classic no, it's game it's a true yeah, it's a true A-bit game, but it just looks kind of like you know like plastic toys. They, it did it before Sonic Heroes. Um, <laughs> it looks like the McDonald's yeah, Happy Meal. It did, yeah, yeah, legit. <laughs> oh, all right. We, we're doing well on this RNG here. We are equal with rings for both sides here. So third act on this is going to be the boss. You're going to see the boss coming in here. Eggman is going to have his little propeller boomerang come out. You're going to see S2 bouncing on the head here, aiming to try and hit those glasses. But Knuckles has a slight advantage here with the power of gliding, allowing Knuckles to get that extra hit just a little bit quicker there. So you can see there are two cycles on the Knuckles side, three on the Sonic side. But we're coming through to the next level. Any idea what color it's going to be? If this was green, the other one is... Magenta. Look! <laughs> oh. It's yellow. It got me. It got me. Yeah, this it, is it this it, this uh this desert sure is yellow. <laughs> but, I mean what other color is a desert gonna be? I do hope. Welcome that they to keep the green desert. The colors. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly inspired. I mean, there's so much about this game that's inspired. Um, we, if we just ignore the fact that we just hold a right for most of the stage. Yeah. Um, I made the mistake of not holding right there and um, uh -oh. going down one of those pipes, which is a, it's a big time loss for me. Don't want to do that. Ooh. Well, you can pull it back out We believe in you. Yeah. Decent oh, RNG. A, what, is, what is this RNG right? We were doing a practice run last <laughs> night, and these two, they both got absolutely terrible signpost RNG. Right now, they are on three for three on rings. Like, what is this? I told you, we were just uh, we were just throwing out the bad luck so that we'd have great luck here, and I think we're both gonna, gonna have that happen. <laughs> Yo, S2, I can't believe your movement there. How do you know? How do you remember the directions you need to press on that? That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so that that one section where I look like I'm flying through the stage, um, it's it's a lot more simple than it looks, I guess. I mean, you really do want to go right, so you do hold right. Um, you just gotta you just gotta make a few jumps. That's all. But oh, the hip, I'd be kneeling it. The hitboxes in this game are pretty large, I must say. So. 
And that's something, at that particular moment that you're talking about, Knockers can't quite do. He's just a tiny bit slower, um, but he makes up for it in, in other areas. Well, here we have Sun Eggman yes. with his giant pokey stick. The answer to the classic question, can he beat Goku? But can he beat Goku? <laughs> Apparently, yes. All right, Eggman confirms stronger than Goku. Sorry, Dragon Ball Z fans. Well, you know, it is what it is. I mean, look. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit early on the countdown. There. I was like, look. Oh, dang well, it. Look. Red Volcano time. Sorry, I mean, Red Mountain. What, what um, let's go with this. This isn't red. <laughs> We've been... Wait, wait a minute. You're right. This isn't red. What color is this? It's like purple. What the heck? This is not red. It, <laughs> it's purple. It's purple. All right, Hebe, I hear you've got some insider knowledge on this stage. How do you do the red volcano stage? Um, so for Knuckles, it's basically just hold right. Um, jump a couple of times, do a little bit better than I'm doing here, because it's uh, looking a little bit iffy on my side. But um, yeah, hold right. There are a couple of points where we can use rings for the cues. So this little set of rings, do a couple of jumps and over the lava fall, I suppose. Bad RNG. And there's the RNG coming out. It had out. to be broken. It had to be broken somehow. It did. I'm still knuckles holding out with mine. You are. You've, you've had rings pretty good. It's been ring rings. Oh, too All right, early. so a bit of difference on this particular stage. The stage two in most of these games are larger and more of a maze-like stage, but Red Red Volcano here especially uh, has a little bit of a difference between Sonic and Knuckles in terms of Knuckles can climb the walls so he doesn't have to use any of these platforms, whereas Sonic's just like, I gotta use these spinny platforms and then double jump over the loops. So there's uh, skips for both characters here. Oh, here's that RNG hey. on the Keeping with the no. ring. How oh, does he do it? The harder, that's one of the harder segments in the entire oh. game is that jump over that final oh. loop because you have to bounce on the enemy to get up there and it's pretty tight from there on out to avoid everything. Oh, this race is not over yet. Coming up to one of the harder bosses in the game and Hebe has a lovely strap for this boss with Knuckles. Again, just Knuckles has a... Not an easier time, but can have a quicker time if you have the mastery on him. So you're going to see the boss fight here. He's going to jump up. He's going to fire a boulder at you. You want to try and get a hit on the way up and then a hit just as he's going down. It's a really tight window here. Um, and Sonic can only get two hits per cycle. Knuckles has the ability to get three. So missing one there. Just a little extra cycle there on that side. But that is fine for S2. Yep. As Missed one. <laughs> Couple of sloppy stages for me, but yeah, if we can get this good, then that would yeah. certainly help me out. If you can get this good, you can make up. You can definitely yeah, you make can up. Definitely time make up. I lost like two that seconds. didn't land. Oh, no. I neither did that. Oh no. Blue Marine is the level that I constantly hear people stop playing this game for. Uh, this is this is where the game takes a very water-based turn. Which is <laughs> no one likes yeah, the almost never popular in a Sonic well, game. The, the thing is, they thought to combine water with ice, which I think is their excuse oh. for saying, "Oh yeah, here's a whole load of slowdown whilst you're on <laughs> water." Which here we go. I'm about to do the pipe Ooh, jump. Here comes the this jump is so hype. This is so hype. Go on, S2. Half a frame window. Oh! oh! You actually got the jump. I told Yo! you I would. I told you I would. I could really have done with you not getting that jump. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not oh, I got that RNG. Oh, but the RNG, oh. the signpost RNG is oh. gone. It's a Sonic on the signpost. Uh. <laughs> All right, Hebe, you got to get this. Again, it's a half a frame jump out of the pipe yep. here. It is very tight. Half a frame Hebe needs window. to grab it. Go on, Hebe. Is it going to happen? I believe. I believe in it. It did oh. not happen. No. It did not happen. It's over. All right. Blue Marine 2, again, big maze-like stage here. Lots of tubes, lots of pipes, but the runners here know exactly where it is they're <laughs> going to go. The question is, S2 got the first jump in Blue Marine 1. Uh -oh. will, the, will he get the second one in Blue Marine 2? Pray Knuckles has a much easier time on this one thanks to his glide, but let's see what happens. Shoutouts to uh, Eggman RNG. Hey. Eggman. Yes, pray for me on that second jump because I almost never hit it. 
Again, we are... This race is far from over. The run might be over. The run is coming up quick here, but we've still got the next level. Which color is it going to be? We've had green, we've had yellow, we've had red and blue. Which is the last color that you think it will be? What would we like right. it to be? I'm thinking of like better better stages than what we have in this game because I mean they're not bad, but it's not it's not the peak Sonic. It's not peak fiction. Yeah. Ooh, Let's go. Got the jump, yo! There is. You actually got the yes. jump. That is amazing. All right, so the re like serious for a second there. That is a tight frame window to get yourself caught up against the wall there. Yeah. And the fact that S2 got it, yo, nice. There actually is a faster, faster frame you can hit where you just double jump straight around the whole thing, but getting that in itself is so crazy difficult. In, like, all of my practice, I don't think I hit that once, so I'm actually hugely pumped about that. That's why it's easier for Knuckles. <laughs> You yeah. can just glide Knuckles out of it. Glide. You can always accidentally find yourself going back into the tube, but we luckily didn't there because oh. that would lay quite a bit of time. So, but, uh, so the boss, boss fight here is uh. moving from the left to the right. It's being a bit of a pain. Something really important to know in this one. You are underwater. You do have the air meter. There's the countdown yeah. there. I don't... Come on, Eggman. Come on, Eggman. Okay, safe. There we go. You want to make sure you yes. get air on this, because even if you kill the boss, that countdown timer is still running. And until Sonic is off screen, you 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 can just drown. Yeah. I, I know this from experience. Yes. Uh, Likewise. Heavy, <laughs> heavy on the boss there has an easier time again with the glide getting a better cycle. So the time has been made up. And if you said the color was silver, look, you were right. Look. Look! All right, we are on Silver Castle here. The gimmick on this stage is these lovely little teleporters teleporting you around the world. If you don't know where you're going, then you're going to have a bad time. But thankfully, these runners know the portals they want. X2, you are getting bodied, yeah. mate. What is going on? I uh, I might have gotten a little bit out of rhythm there. <laughs> also, I uh, I, I have it on good authority here. Um, we're, we're being chased by giant spike walls. Heavy, <laughs> would you have giant spike walls in your silver castle? Call me old-fashioned, Argic, but I don't think I would somehow. <laughs> Unless I was what? planning to, you know, throw uh, throw an echidna or a hedgehog in there to uh, terrorize them. But uh, we want to save the animals, right? We right? do want to save the animals. Yes. Also, you, you, you cheeky, you changed the answer on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Silver Castle 2 here. Again, massive stage coming in. Heavy just coming into it as well. So you can see these runners are really close together. It's a lot of spike walls running around the main uh, thing. And there's the spike there's wall right the there coming wall. out. <laughs> you want to make sure you have rings on this one. You want to hit the checkpoint that's down the ball. Maybe for safety, we'll see if these runners <laughs> go for it. There's also the little platforms that can slow you down there. Those little yellow grounds. It's like sticky cheese or something. I don't know. It, just, it slows you down. <laughs> That's no good law. Stuck in that. I'm, I'm prepared to believe. The, uh, it's the sticky cheese. It's the sticky cheese. Yes. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I say <laughs> cheese. Like, I, I don't know. Uh, all right, checkpoint there. No rings though, which means it's going to be a little bit of a oh, double jump over. Yeah. <laughs> I am glad I hit the checkpoint. I'm so glad you hit the checkpoint. So we now have a sink. Look at the sink on the Ooh. screen, folks. We brought the kitchen sink out for you. We got all the utensils here. Now we're going to see the runners going to get damage boosting on the way through. They're going to spin on these platforms to light up your life because that's exactly what you need to do to activate the teleporter as we are coming on to the finale, the final section. It's neck and neck. It's Sonk v Knuckles, Hibby versus E, Hibby versus S2, EU versus Eddie. I don't know. I'm talking nonsense now. As we see these runners, the final oh, RNG. No. Oh, oh it's the no. Chaos it's double no. chaos, everyone. No way, we're both no with way. us. That is oh phenomenal. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And the final look. Look, look. look. S2, explain this stage and just how massive it is. Oh, it's huge. It's giant. <laughs> Welcome to the final boss, Welcome everyone. Welcome to the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> now, All right. I'm, I know we've had a discussion about this, Argic. No, don't you dare. No, no, don't you dare. Do I'm going to do it. it out. You've I'm going to do it. My life I'm going to do it. And this run. Don't, don't hold me back. Um, mm. Folks, if you uh, have a look at the boss, it does a little bit of movements when uh, it gets hit. Uh, keep an eye out just to the right of it. Just uh, 
Something's doing a little wobbling. It's not part of the main sprite. There are just two loose pixels that decide to, you know, do a little dance. And they're, they're just happy to be there. They're, they're the main protagonist of Sonic Blast, let's be honest. Yeah, this is true. If there's one thing to remember about this game, it's those two pixels. I'm so sorry for tech because uh, I actually forget how many hits this boss is. Um, yeah, time they... is coming up soon. This this is a ridiculously close race. It literally just comes down to who entered the boss room first. There is RNG. Unless in any it. of the runners miss. Yeah, there is RNG. There... We can have dud shots from Eggman here. Yeah, if he so... dodges, if he does a if he does a fake out, it time does for take me. Slightly. Time for me. And time for us. Oh you. my god. Oh my god. By like well, half there's a second. Oh my god. There's like there's like a second or two in that. Oh, so we're wow. so sorry, Tech. Yeah, sorry, Tech. Yes, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was close. I, I can't even be mad about that. Good game to you, Hypnotics. Wow. 1404.9, 1406.5. Wow, good game. <laughs> Less than well two done. seconds between you. <laughs> So S2 and I, we've had like, we've done so many races in marathons and they're always so incredibly close. Um, yes. And I'm glad that I'm glad that that was close as well. Um, yes. But yeah, everybody, that was the best Sonic game. That was truly the Sonic game of all time. Um, oh, yeah. Probably probably not our best performance. Was that a death no. on um, Silver Castle yeah, for you? I did die. <laughs> yeah, I could have yeah, done not better. Our, not our best performances, but honestly, if you, like, this is going to sort of lead on into my shout-outs, but if you ever want to run a Sonic game and you have no idea what to run, there are so many different Sonic games to run. I will personally DM, like, if you DM me, I will personally hand you a Sonic game that is good. Uh, well, good. Uh, question marks. But, um, yeah, uh, this game is so incredibly easy to learn. You can find it on Sonic Adventure, the director's cut. This is one of the mini games. It's on Mega Collection. You can find it everywhere. Uh, for some reason, they decided to make this more accessible than good games like Knuckles Chaotix, but is what it is. Um, special thanks to Kazuyuki uh, Okawa and the other ones. And the other ones. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, thank you to, well, just shout out to the other Sonic Runners at AGDQ. They all did a great job. Spec, Sabaro, The Blue Mania, New, and Kirby Master. Go back and watch their runs because they were incredible. Um, all the British Sonic, well, British GDQ rep. That was that was nice to see. Um, and just quickly, a big thank you to Mike, who, um, as most of you will have heard, this is his last ma like main event as organizer. Um, I run a GDQ hotfix, and he has been so incredibly gracious for my time throughout that. So um, big blessings on to him going forward. And to PCF, my brother um, had um, a moment in his life where he had, well, he'd come down with a bit of cancer, but um, he's very fortunate to be on the other side. And... It's nothing that anyone should have to go through if there is, you know, ways of hoping to prevent that. So big thank you to what they do and everybody's donations, of course, and everybody behind the scenes. Hola and arigato to Klovakina and Chess Chess from the other restreams as well. Um, yeah, so many thanks. I could be here forever, but I'm sure the tech do not want me to be here forever. So I... S2. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to shout out quickly Startoons who sent me a copy of the Sonic Blast plug and play. I don't want to hear What it. a guy. Um, and I want to shout out everybody who is up watching this right now. I know it's a little bit early on this side of the planet. And so thank you to everybody who actually came through and is watching not only my run, but the rest of Autoblock. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah. that, that's all I really have to plug. So. Also, thank you, S2 and Argic. Yes, thank you, Hypnotics, for introducing me to this game. Indeed, Hibby. Thank you for introducing me to it as well. And thank you to you all in chat. Keep donating. I look forward to listening to lots of looks, hopefully. <laughs> um, sorry, Nicole. I think we've been here long enough. I, uh, yeah, sorry, Nicole. <laughs> sorry, Bobby. Oh, gosh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I well, love seeing it. Uh, yeah, no, take, take it away, Nicole. Uh, we, 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 we're so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Never apologize for the uh, the surge of look donations. It's such a good thing because it's going for such a good cause. I have an $11.62 donation from Broken Hyperlink that says, The rivalry between S2 and Hypnotics now continues and AGDQ and I couldn't be happier. I hope Signpost RNG and Silver Castle Eggman are kind to you both. Sonic Blast doesn't believe in air bubbles. Thank you so much for that donation. That was an amazing race and such a fun run to see. Chat, look. Now, 
This is my last run. So it was a great, great time to have with you today. Thank you so much for having me. I've had a blast hosting as always. And uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on and get up, stretch, get water, have, have some something to eat, chat. Have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are. Keep those donations coming in. We are so close to Mario 8 Deluxe. So with that, I will see you all later. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. See you after the break. end of this awfully amazing block of games All right, I think I'm here now. I think I'm here now. They hurt you. Am I here now, chat? Hi, chat. You're watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online, powered by Twitch. My name is Bobby Blackwolf. I am thrilled to be your host, your guide, through this awfully amazing block of games. We are starting this last little bit 
with bad guys at school. All missions. This is being run by Sadly Badly. You've seen Sadly Badly before. They ran The Simpsons Hit and Run at SGDQ 2018. And now we're going to see how you, you too, should not actually be a bad guy in school. You should, you should only do this in video games. I cannot wait for this run. It might be beans. I don't know. I will say that we do have a $50 donation from Anonymous saying, another day, another great run to wake up to. Good morning, y'all, and good luck to all the runners. Hope everyone has a good day. Well, I'm going to tell you who's going to have a good day is that bad guy at school because we are ready for bad guys at school. Sadly, badly, show us how it's done. <laughs> 